In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why you should visit Krakow, Poland on your next trip to Europe. Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. If you're new here, my name's Trey, and on this channel, my sister Katie and I share with you our insights and experiences so that you can make travel possible. If you haven't already, be sure to click the red subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of our uploads. Okay, so when I first decided that I was gonna go to Krakow, I got a lot of pushback saying things like, what, why would you wanna to go to Krakow when there are so many other amazing cities in Europe? And keep in mind, things like this were coming from people who had never actually been there. Originally, I was only gonna stay a day or two, but I ended up staying seven because I loved the city so much. So in no particular order, here's 10 reasons why Krakow should be on your next European destinations list. Number one, it has the largest town square in Europe. This thing is really a sight to behold and it really lets you feel the charm of the city. There are horse-drawn carriages everywhere taking people around the square. It also has tons of restaurants and cafes with outside tables. It also has a big clock tower and every hour on the hour, a bugler comes out at the top of the tower and plays a short Polish anthem to mark the time. This has been a daily ritual on the square since the 14th century. Number two is the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp. World War II began in 1939 when the Nazis invaded Poland. And when you take a day trip to Auschwitz, you get a really powerful reminder of what a grim place Poland was in that time period. I've seen every World War II and Holocaust documentary I've ever been able to find, so I had a pretty decent idea of what some areas of the camp looked like, and I couldn't believe how well preserved everything was. Like, I felt like I was walking through time. Seeing the camp firsthand was one of the most moving experiences of my life. If anything should be on your must-do list when you're visiting Krakow, seeing Auschwitz is it. Number three, it's really affordable. One of the running jokes I had with my friends while I was there is that everything in Krakow is free. Now, obviously it's not free, but compared to the prices you see in Western Europe, the prices in Krakow are so low that it feels like they're free. For example, I stayed at the Pink Panther, which is my all-time favorite hostel, and it cost $7 a night. And there were several other hostels in the city for under $5 a night. Number four, you can beat the crowds. Now, I say this because when I went a few years ago in September, I didn't stand in a single line and I never felt bogged down by tourists. But I also don't recall a lot of people mentioning Krakow at that time. But now, I'm starting to see a lot of videos coming out on YouTube of people talking about why Krakow is so amazing. So, I would highly recommend that you go sooner rather than later. Number five, Krakow is one of the most up and coming digital nomad destinations in the world. Krakow is currently ranked 11th on nomadlist.com, which is a really popular website for ranking the best cities around the world to live and work. In order for a city to achieve a ranking this high, it has to score really well in 21 different categories, including cost, internet, fun, and safety. And Krakow checks all the boxes. Number six is friendly locals. Anytime I needed help getting somewhere or needed a recommendation, the locals were always happy to point me in the right direction. Now, although lots of people in Poland speak English, there's still lots of people who don't. So I would highly recommend that you memorize some common words and phrases, as well as having the Google Translate app close by and ready to use. Number seven is the beautiful countryside. This is one of the first things I noticed about Southern Poland before I even arrived in Krakow. I loved looking out the train window and seeing the charm of the rolling hills and the people working the fields on their little farms. It was just really cool to see. Number eight is Polish food. The restaurants and street food in Krakow are amazing. Anything from their local drinks like beer or vodka to a variety of Polish dishes. Just walk up to any street food window or do a Google search for what and where to eat. You won't be disappointed. Number nine is the great nightlife. Although Krakow will give you plenty of opportunities to relax, it also has tons of great bars and clubs. Pub crawls are really popular too. 
it's easy to find one to join and they're a great way to meet other people. Number 10, you can do a free walking tour of the Jewish Quarter. This is where the old Jewish ghetto was in World War II. Now, the Jewish Quarter is a really cool part of town where you can find lots of shops, cafes, and live music. You can also see several sites where Schindler's List was filmed. So now that you know a little bit more about Krakow, we'd love to know what you think. Today's travel-related question is, does Krakow sound like a place you'd like to visit? Or do you think that there are just too many other great cities in Europe that you'd like to see first? Let us know in the comments. For more travel related videos, be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Katie and I are blood related, but we can all be travel related. See you next time.